I help, let me help show management companies. Let me help agencies. Let me help everybody that's yeah. out there understand when you're dealing with corporate America. You need to understand what our challenges are inside corporate America and how you can best help us achieve those, get all those hurdles, all those challenges and achieve the successes that we're after. So if you're not listening and you can't hear that and you don't understand the vision of what we got and where we're going, and you're just trying to sell me your wares, your space, your skill set or whatever, uh, it's going to be a tremendous challenge for you. Mm -hmm. The next thing you have to realistically be able to assess. And this is going to be a hard thing for everybody to swallow, but you're just going to have to swallow because that's the way today is. Uh, you have to know who you're talking to, and you have to know the individual that you're talking to, um, the decision power or leverage they have when inside corporate America to do, to do what needs to be done. Because if you're talking to a tactical uh, driven person inside a corporation, you can talk color all you want. They only understand black and white. Mm -hmm. But you need to understand when you're understanding black and white, most likely they're talking to you about a specific event or a specific thing. Very black and white. Mm -hmm. If you're really a show management company today, you know, what you really want to start getting yourself to is how do I get to the right person that I can talk to that says, it's not about this show. I've got a series of shows. And let me help you understand how this series of shows help you to accomplish what you're after. Because what people don't realize that, that I feel constantly is you never make a sale doing one thing. It takes a series of experiences to drive the element from point A to point S to sale. So if you think that I'm going to go to your event and I'm going there because I want to get X number of sales, you're thinking wrong. Mm -hmm. It's just one of the steps in the cycle. Here's the biggest big challenge that this role faces, mm -hmm. and people in this role faces a long time. They'll say, well, how do you measure that event of whether it's successful or not? Well, how many sales leads did you get? And I can remember telling this back in one of my IBM days. <laughs> I told our executive at that point in time, so you want to measure me on how many sales leads we get at this event? He says, yeah. How many do you want? I can get you 100, I can get you 500, I can get you 1,000. That doesn't mean there's any quality to them. Okay. They're any good. Uh, you tell me you want 1,000, that's how you're going to measure me? I'll go get you 1,000 leads. That's an easy mechanical thing to do. Mm -hmm. Well, where do those leads go? Well, they're going to go over to the sales team. But if the sales team doesn't do anything about it, then it's a waste of time. Okay, And if the sales team can't define what is a good lead and the quality of that lead, then my answer may be, it's not getting a thousand. What if it's getting a hundred, but it's getting the right hundred? Now I've not only defined this, but I've also taken a tremendous burden off our sales team to go through a thousand to try to figure things out. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this job now becomes working very closely with the sales team to ensure that if if that's what one of the key goals that we're after is getting sales leads to ensure that we're collecting and going after it properly to get the right level of sales leads. And I always say this, if it doesn't have a catcher, don't spend your time doing it. You can spend your time doing more valuable things. I got a thousand leads, give them sales. If they go in a drawer, there's no catcher because there's no process that comes back. So a help for people in, in these types of roles. If one of the things they want to measure you about is sales or sales leads, mm -hmm. if there's not a process in place, right. end to end process with a catcher and all the way through, because you can come back even with a hundred good leads. <coughs> there's no process in place with sales teams that says it's done this, this, and this, and there's feedback going. Okay, you're fooling yourself if, and by the way, you don't want to get measured by something where you're fooling yourself. Mm -hmm. Because your destiny will be, I'll tell you very much what your destiny is going to be. So no later you're going to be looking for a different job. Uh, I've always been one of these people that say, never let anybody tell you how they're going to measure you. Know your job well enough to define what needs to be measured. Get their agreement on it. Okay? And then you're going down the right path. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard this for as long as I've been, especially in the event side of the business. Nobody appreciates us. Okay. Nobody knows whatever. They're always asking us to prove value because if you can't prove value, you can't prove worth, 
you know, uh, all of a sudden we're in an economic situation where we've got to cut back. Well, let's cut the events team. You know, what are they doing? I can't prove their worth, their value of, of them or the events. Mm -hmm. So the answer is, is you have to define the vehicles that best fit the strategy of where you're going. You have to ensure that you put a strategy together that goes all the way up to your CMO level and gets blessed that these are the right things to be doing that fits the strategy. You've got to be flexible enough that the business changes, and you've got to be able to adapt and flex that strategy based on what's going on. And you've got to be very clear and succinct about what you're going to measure and how that measurement will show value. If you don't do that, you are executing your job in black and white. Mm -hmm. Black and white in this arena, just like in television, hardly exists anymore. Now, you're doing something with Ed Jones, aren't you? I've known Ed Jones longer than both Ed Jones than I would like to admit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike, going, Mike hasn't met him yet. Oh, so. yeah. uh, Ed and I met way back in my IBM days. Okay. Okay. And... Uh, Ed was one of those people that, you know, we got together back then, and of course, Ed is in the area of measurements and assessment. And uh, when I came here to AMD and started to put a program there, Ed was one of the first people I called upon. Mm -hmm. And I said, Ed, uh, I need your help once yeah. again, okay? And uh, what I like about Ed and anybody I work with, um, my relationship is on a partnership relationship. Mm -hmm. And partnership relationship means to me that, uh, you know, if I win, you win. If I lose, you lose. Okay. I respect you for input and direction that you give because you know what? You're, you're the expert in this area. Mm -hmm. I know just enough about it to know to get the right expert. Like I do this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. That's my job to find the experts, put it together, get the vision, and move people forward. Uh, Ed is one of those type of people. So when Ed, uh, I called up Ed and I said, okay, Ed, here's my challenge here uh, coming in the door. AMD has no idea what they're doing in the area of events, why they're doing them, where there's any success. They don't even know, you know, how much money they're spending or anything. So one of the first keys that I need your help on is I'm going to get an understanding of AMD strategy and where we're going. With that strategy, I need you to sit down and help me do the following. Mm -hmm. What vehicles exist out there today in the event arena that are a match to the strategy and where we're going that I should look at to potentially execute. Mm -hmm. Once I've done that, and we understand those events are the right ones, okay, the next piece I have to is, so what am I missing? What audiences do I need to get to that one of these vehicles don't get us there? Mm -hmm. I might have to go create my own vehicle to do that mm -hmm. or whatever. So you can see we started to build a strategy, started to connect the dots. Mm -hmm. It wasn't about, here's five events that are out there, you should go to these. It started to be, here's a series of events, Here's ones that map to the strategies that you're going. Now, of these that map to your strategies, here's the timing cycle of which ones are right for what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Here's holes that you're missing. Here's an audience that you should be getting to that you haven't even been looking at for where you're trying to go. Mm -hmm. So we started to connect the dots and started to see a color picture. Well, that looks pretty good, you know? <laughs> so that's the path we go down. Once we started down that with Ed, and he did an excellent job in helping us get there. Good guy. The next step was, okay, Ed, so we defined where we should be going and what we should be doing. So now how are we going to define whether we, were, we did the right thing, right. whether it was a value? And I can tell you in the early stages, the approach was uh, very black and white. It was the measurements, you know? I had this many people come, I had this many people go through the booth. Did they get the message? Da, 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 da. So I said, Ed, let's do that first. But I got to tell you, I'm going to do that for 12 months, the first series through, to help me gather some information and everything. I said, because you know what? I don't care how many people go through my booth, nor should I care. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that's just a number. Mm -hmm. I got to get it past that to get it to the next stage that says, are they understanding and embracing? the message that we're trying to deliver? And are we doing it in effect that we're getting to the right people to do that? Mm -hmm. That's the next step I want to take us to. And I said, from, from month 13 through 24, that's the way we're going to measure. Mm -hmm. right? And the other things are a given. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm not going to go fit, sitting down in front of my CMO and tell them, you know, at XYZ, we had uh, 1,400 people go through the booth. And you know what? They thought, this was really cool. This was very colorful. And I said, you know what? We're not going to do that. That's yeah. mechanical stuff. 
But I'm going to start telling you, did they get the message? Mm -hmm. Did they get the message in the way we wanted to say it, what we wanted to do? Because I'm going to tell you the next thing I want to go back to my company with and my CMO with is, um, you know, what we want to say and what we want them to understand and hear and what they are hearing and the way they comprehend it, we got a mismatch. Hmm. Because we, 